Frazier Crane receives even greater karma in the Frazier reboot when he is the victim of a crime he committed in Cheers. In the revival, Kelsey Grammer's snobby yet endearing therapist begins his fourth act in the well-known city of Boston and sets out to mend his broken connection with his son. Thanks to a long-term TV hosting contract in Chicago, Frazier is now considerably richer than ever and chooses to concentrate on the things that are really important to him. The Fraser revival pays homage to his time in the city with a few nuanced allusions, even though it doesn't actually draw from his past for that during his tenure on Cheers. As part of his new beginning in his former haunt, Frazier discovers a brand new hangout in New England called Mahoney's, which pays homage to actor John Mahoney, who starred in Martin Crane. Given this, if Sam's pub is still operating, there's really no need for the character to go back there. Rather, the Paramount Plus project chooses more sophisticated methods to honor the Cheers events. One of the most profound omissions from Frasier's second reboot episode, Moving In, is in fact a rerun of a hilarious scene from the bar set sitcom that was carried over into the Seattle spinoff. The father and son's narrative was the most compelling love tale, even though Niles and Daphne's romance was thrilling. It never seemed to Frazier that living under his father's roof would be part of the new life he was going to start when he returned to Seattle. Martin was also not too fond of the original setup. Moving into Frazier's opulent Seattle apartment made him feel like he was losing his independence, which is why he didn't enjoy it. He always had a hard time connecting with his sons as a police officer. Although there weren't many flashbacks in the original Frazier, Frazier's behavior toward his father in Cheers suggested that they had a strained relationship. In Two Girls for Every Boy, the ninth episode of Cheers Season 8, the young Frazier stated that his father had died. Only his mother, Hester Crane, had paid him a visit in Boston by that point. Additionally, Frazier never brought up Niles or having a younger brother in general. He even asserted that he was the sole child. This was due to NBC's continued ignorance of the fact that Frazier would eventually go on to become the star of his own program. By presenting Martin and Niles during his visit to Seattle in the first Frazier episode, the network chose to backtrack on these disclosures. In The Good Father, the protagonist makes the decision to move back to Boston in order to be nearer to his son. This decision sets the stage for the remainder of the series. Frazier wanders into Mahoney's not in the Frazier reboot pilot episode Moving In, having previously been there with Olivia and Alan Cornwall. He is unaware that Freddy visits the tavern on a regular basis. Frazier learns that his son informed his fellow firemen that his father had already passed dead during their coincidental meeting. Freddy's deception is right out of his father's playbook, even though the Frasier reboot doesn't admit it. However, the Fraser reboot is able to observe the consequences of the lie in real time, something Cheers was not able to accomplish. Frasier takes a more calculated approach rather than going straight after his son. Without making him look bad in front of his pals, he skillfully holds him responsible for his made-up story. In addition to revealing that Freddie's father is celebrity therapist Dr. Frazier Crane, he was able to solve the problem on his own. It was a terrific scene since it demonstrated how the two could collaborate at will. It also suggests a rather entertaining interaction between them at the same time. NBC retracted Frazier's assertion in Cheers that he was an only child and that his father had passed away since the show needed to create a whole new cast to support the character. David Hyde Pierce and John Mahoney were each offered their respective roles. Early on, the spin-off successfully distinguished itself from Cheers by bringing in Frasier's family and presenting itself as a family program. Given how important both characters were to the original show's popularity, the plot contradiction turned out to be worthwhile. It's hard to picture Frasier becoming as big of a hit or running as long as it did without them. The original show was able to close the plot hole regarding his father's death, but it was never able to address his claim that he was an only child. He clarified in the show where Sam shows up, episode 18 of Frasier season 2, that he informed Sam his father had passed away solely because they had just gotten into a fight. He wished Martin dead because he was so irate and frustrated with him. Even though it was rather gloomy, the family comedy managed to make it funny. The concept was never brought up again after that. Not even the reboot acknowledges that Freddie repeated a lie told by Frasier.